Archbishop Richard Foreskin here. A little message for Mr. Kicker Poo. The Archbishop never asks anybody to follow him, only does the Archbishop ask people to think for themselves and read the Holy Scriptures without any man, he, she, they telling them what it's supposed to mean. Kick a poo, you've been kicking poo too long, and your thunker got stunkered. Let's move on with the ceremony here, shall we? Yes, Kickapoo, you've been indoctrinated by the Holy Script yours, the one-eyed farmer's text has you vexed. Hold on, the Archbishop has to make a turn. Yes, it seems that some fake Christians out there are trying to rebuke the Archbishop. That doesn't work. You see, you only have a Holy Ghost placebo effect. Nothing compared to the Archbishop. The reality. Yes, study to show thyself approved or be a fool under the influence of the one-eyed farmer's text. Yes, Kickapoo, I never ask anybody to follow me, but according to Jesus, you're supposed to be following him. You should be able to easily have this whole world fixed since 2,000 years have gone by. Mark 16, 17 through 20. You have the power to cast out devils, heal the sick, pick up deadly snakes, it won't hurt you. Drink any deadly poison and it won't hurt you at all. Why do you have a problem with the Archbishop getting people to read the scriptures and think for by themselves what they say? No, the one-eyed farmers are the ones that you obey. It's very sad you're all in your little fake Christian uh, cheerleading sections with your holy ghost indoctrinated affected minds. Yes, that's the holy ghost placebo effect. You see, indoctrination is something that you don't know you're into. You see, the Archbishop was indoctrinated for 40 plus years. That's why I know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm just trying to get you to think for yourself. May the pickle jaws of indoctrination be broken. Yes, like we used to say when we were Christians, I'm just a, a beggar sharing the bread I found. Well, I'm trying to free you from your pickle jar of indoctrination that I found to be true. Yes, that is where you are stuck. By the way, Apostle Paul was the Antichrist, Antichrist. Yes, the founder of the one-eyed farmer's preacher's lust. There we have it, Archbishop out. Give a mighty shout to your own ability to think. Call it God given whatever you want, but think for yourselves. The scripts, you don't hear the voice except for the ones in your head. That's why you're misled. You don't hear the tone. You can't feel the bone. And what you're believing in won't leave you alone because you're vexed. And the one-eyed farmers, the authors of confusion and Paul the Antichrist himself have led you gently into the freedom stalls, freedom stalls, mind, body, and all. May the pickle jaws of indoctrination be broken. Set free, my friends, to the truth of the universe and the cosmos. Otherwise, you'll just be the farmer's toast. So get the most out of life. Read your holy scriptures. Stop picking out bits and pieces. No wonder you're so lost, fake Christians. I feel for you, though. I was there. I was there. Even the birds cry out to let you know that you've been fooled. So go over there and sit on the stool with your dunce cap on and uh, pick up your Bibles and read it from beginning to end without any person, he, she, they telling you what it's supposed to mean. Come clean. 
from your holy indoctrination. May the pickle jaws of indoctrination be broken. I'm trying to help you out. By the way, you said that the Archbishop, nobody should follow this babbling idiot, something like that. The Archbishop doesn't want anybody to follow him only to learn to think for themselves and escape from the one-eyed farmer's script, yours, not mine. Read it. And if you're offended by the Archbishop, that's proof that you haven't really read your Bible because you should be more offended on what it says in there, especially Moses giving men baths to make them priests, putting curious girdles and bonnets on them, and having each man slay the bullock, slit its throat, and put it in a bowl of blood and shake it all over the altar, arrange the heads this way and that, and then to Moses to put the blood on his finger and dip it in the blood, the bowl of blood, and put it on Aaron's right ear, right big toe, and right thumb, and his sons also, then proceed to put curious girdles and bonnets on them. How can you be offended towards the archbishop when he's trying to set you free? Now read your scriptures now, and then once you understand you've been put into a freedom stall, the pickle jar of indoctrination, may the pickle jars of indoctrination be broken. Just trying to crack your jars just to get them started. Archbishop out. <laughs>